Hello, everyone, and welcome to a little segment I've just now decided to call, How Does This Work? Today, we're going to be looking at fantasy football. And for those of you who didn't immediately turn off the video upon hearing that, I'm going to show you how it works. Now, I know most of you are thinking, but I don't know anything about football. I'm not going to know what I'm doing. Well, I don't really know what I'm doing either. I mean, outside of being a Jacksonville Jaguars fan, I don't really follow the NFL that closely. But that doesn't mean that fantasy football can't be fun. So let's take a little step outside of our comfort zone and get started. The first thing you'll have to do is register an account on NFL.com. Now you can use any name you want here, you know, email address, username, password, all that good stuff. Be sure to uncheck the email me NFL.com newsletters, offers, products, and updates. As long as you do that, you should not see any emails from NFL.com at all. Once you're signed in, go back to the home page, and right next to the NFL logo, you should see a tab here that says Fantasy. Click on that. Now, the easiest way to get started is actually not to use these uh, Get Started links. Actually, what you want to do is, next to the little house icon, click on Fantasy 12. It gives you a nice big screen and gives you exactly what you need to do. If you're feeling ambitious, you can create a league, which actually I have done. Uh, you can join a league. And there are literally thousands of leagues already created for you to join. With many more to come as it gets closer to football season as more and more users create their own leagues. Now for those of you who actually have the information needed to join my personal league, you're going to want to click the received an invite link. And then type in the league ID and the league password and click continue. Once you're there, all you have to do is name your team, pick your time zone, and click Join League. And that's it. You're in. Once you've created your team, it should take you to the League homepage where you'll see all the other teams in the League. And from here, I'll show you around a little bit. Over here on the right, we have the current week's matchups. Down here, we have the League standings. And if you want to make any changes to your team, you go up here at the top, click My Team. Once you're there, one of the first things I would suggest is you can go over here to Edit Settings and you can choose a logo for your team. Now, they have some generic logos here as well as different versions of actual NFL teams logos or if you're feeling creative, you can upload a custom logo. Just make sure that it is 80 pixels by 40 pixels. If you're feeling really adventurous, you can go up here to Pre-Draft Rankings and it'll show you these are actually my pre-draft rankings. It'll show you all the players and all their stats and what they are projected to do this season. Now I've set the league up to do an auto draft. So you don't have to actually be there on draft day in order to do anything. The way the draft works, the computer will automatically pick whatever is the best available player when it's your turn to pick. If you want to modify which ones the computer decides to pick, then you click this button over here that says Edit Overall Pre-Rank. This will give you a rundown of the pool of players and you can set it to from top 50 to the top 1,000 players. Or if you want, you can search for a player by name. Once you have a player selected, you just click and drag over here to the right and then click Save and there you go. Whenever it's your turn to pick, if these players are available, then these will take precedent over any other players. And that's pretty much all you need to do in order to set up your team. Now the way this works is you draft about 40 players per team. Then you pick one player for each position that you have available on game day. Once you fill out your active roster, NFL.com will actually take the stats of the real life players during their real life game and give you points based on those stats. If your players give you more points than your opponent gets, then you win. It's as simple as that. 
Think of it as like choosing your team for a tactical RPG like Ogre Battle. I hope this video clears up a lot of confusion. I really encourage you to sign up for my league and have some fun. There might just be prizes in store at the end of the season. Nico's Windjammer! Power Glider! Power up, turn off the power and glide. Power down for smooth landing and smooth better attack and charger from Nico. Electronic Geo Safari Geography Game. Learning made fun. An exciting game of knowledge for one or the whole family. Electronic Geo Safari from Educational Insights. Roseland Ranch. Roseland Ranch in Stanfordville, New York. A casual ranch resort offering swimming, horseback riding, and winter activities. Year-round fun. Roseland Ranch.